Hi everyone, it's Laura. So I just got some mail from um, your scrapbook supply and I just wanted to share with you guys what I got. Um, it is mostly all Prima and it's mostly the Rondell collection because that is what I'm really, really liking. So I got this um, paper pack and let me just open it real quick. I know everybody has seen this paper, so I'll just go through it really quickly. Um, I'm just really, really liking this one. I really like the light pink and black. So I got this. And then, um, let's see what else I got here. I got the little wood pieces. And, oh, I did get some, uh, some of the romance novel. So these are the romance novel, um, I can't remember what kind of flowers they're called. But um, I thought it said something about sugar on it. So you can see like the glitter that's on it there. And then I got um, some of the leaves too. Um, so I got those. And then I got um, oh, I got these um, wood pieces here. And um, okay, so I got two of the wood ones. All this romance novel stuff is really, really hard to find, so that's why I ordered some doubles of it. Um, and then I got some of the um, clips, these wood clips. Um, so that is that one. And oh, and then I got these little things of flowers too. And then. The rest of this is the Rondell collection, so I got the leaves and these flowers here. And then I got, um, oh, I must have got three packs of these, okay. And then I got the clips. And what else did I get here? Oh, I got some of the washi tape that is um, the tea time. And I got these um, stamps and then these. And I got these wood pieces from Rondell. And I know I got ordered some more washi tape. Oh, right here. This is from the Zephyr collection, I believe. And then this one is uh, for the Rondell collection. And then um, I ordered some of these because I really, really like these a lot. So I got three packages of those. And then I ordered the, um, distru the Distress Stain in Brushed Pewter and Antique Bronze. And then I got a couple laces too. So I got this one and I believe these are all um, Webster's pages but I can't really remember now. So I got this one and I think that is super pretty. And then um, I got this one and it has like a gold ruffle on it. And then I got this pretty white lace one. And then I got this one here. It's like a gold. I think that one's really, really pretty. And then I got this, which um, I absolutely love. And um, I got this also, like five yards of it at the scrap store, like a week and a half ago too. So I am glad I got some more of that. And um, I think that is it. And then um, I wanted
wanted to say to Archana, you are so sweet. She sent me these flowers here. And um, then she sent me this little baggie of stuff. Um, she just went to, I think it's India, but I'm not exactly sure. And so um, she got some stuff there, and she just sent me um, a couple little things. So she sent me these little flowers, and then these little pink flowers here. And then this um, really pretty trim right here, like this crocheted trim with a pearl on it. So that's really pretty. It's so dainty. And then these two um, strips. So Archana, thank you very, very much for that. That was really sweet of you. And um, <clears throat> then there was a couple things that I worked on this weekend. And um, one of them was... Um, these stick pins. So let me just show you the ones I made. This one. And this one right here. Which I'm really liking these metal, like, mesh balls. And then this one right here. And this one, which this one might be my favorite. I really like that um, bead right there. And then this one here. And then this one. And this one. Which I like that pink bling ball too. And then this one here. And then this one. And then this one. And, um, oh, and I made this one here. And one last one is this one right here. So those are the stick pins I made. And then also, um, last week I got this die and since I've really been into the Prima Rondell collection um, I went ahead and made this little box and I thought it turned out really cute so that little box is definitely worth um, getting especially um, if you can get it at Hobby Lobby with 40% off um, and so what I did was I just put the um, paper on the outside there and then another paper here. And then this is a Tim Holtz knob that I um, screwed in to the um, box. And then I put some baby pink felt on it. And um, these are some of the Rondell um, leaves. And this is a big Prima flower that I got from Elise. And Elise, thank you so much again for these. I love these and I'm using them so sparingly. And then I put this little yummy word on it. And then this right here is some of the wedding dress appliques that um, I got. So um, I'm in the process of cutting those off the dress. Um, so I made that and then I made this card to go with it. And it's just more of the paper and then these are the little pom-pom trim that I got it at Hobby Lobby last week, and these are just some Prima flowers, and then um, this little trim here, and then that is the inside. So that is my little card and matching box. And then um, one last thing I was going to show you guys is, um, so this is some of the appliques that I've cut off of that dress. And so this is the stack so far, which there's a lot here. And this is like a quarter of the dress, or the, a quarter of the bottom part of the dress. So um, this is going to be a lot of work to get all of these appliques off. And um, I didn't really think of it as it was going to be that hard. Um, so I guess... Um, I'm just going to work at it and do, you know, like a few at a time or 
whatever. I'm not sure. So, um, Tammy, if you're watching this, and I know you just got a wedding dress too, I'm just kind of wondering, like, how long are we supposed to work on this every day? Um, are we just supposed to keep it in the closet and when we need one, just, you know, go and cut it off or what? So, um, if anybody has any ideas on that, let me know. And, um, that is it. I hope you guys like what I made and thanks for watching everyone. Bye.